it's again another cold day here in the Netherlands and I will try to make Lumpiang Shanghai, Filipino Lumpiang Shanghai and give it to my sister. Oh, you have no good sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So first, let's have a look at the ingredients. So I'm using ground pork meat or guinea-ling, guinea-ling diba? Some fresh parsley at carrots, bawang, sibuyas, idlock, of course pimenta at asin, and finally mantika. So I washed the vegetables, so now I'm gonna chop everything very fine. And look who's there. Okay, so finally I'm gonna add some asin and black pepper and oil and then we're gonna halo halo. So while the meat is getting marinated and while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna buy some lumpia wrappers. Now I got the lumpia wrappers. I hope they are the good size for Lumpiang Shanghai. So I have a question. I want to make uh, a dipping sauce if I have enough time. Otherwise I'll just use a chili sauce. But uh, how do you call the dipping sauce for Lumpiang Shanghai? Is it just sasawan? I saw that you can mix uh, ketchup with uh, vinegar and some uh, cornstarch and a bit of sugar and salt to make a sauce for the Lumpiang Shanghai. So if I still have time, I'm gonna do that, but please leave your comments below on how to make the best sauce, dipping sauce for Lumpiang Shanghai. Okay, so for the sasawan, I'm just gonna try a bit of vinegar. It's too hot. So just add the ketchup. If I would have banana ketchup, I would add that one, but I don't. So let's say 50-50. Kunting asukol. Asin. And then I will just thicken it with some cornstarch. It seems Puggy is hungry too. Gutom na Puggy? Gutom? <laughs> Puggy, are you Gutom? Are you Gutom? Okay, so I'm gonna try the lumpias.
So I think this one is very tiny, the bottom. <laughs> it's too <laughs> tiny. I'll try to roll a little bit bigger, okay? Okay, let's hope that this one will be a little bit bigger. I'll do it like this. Uh, like that, no? Look all. Okay, long. So I think I found a trick. I need to spread the meat a little bit more wide, lengthwise, okay? So I think this one looks pretty good. What do you think? You know, I wanted to fry the Lumpia Shanghai here, but uh, when I bring them, maybe when they cool up, they're not so nice anymore. So instead, I'm just gonna fry them at my sister's place. Okay, so I'm on my way. Let's see how the Lumpiang Shanghai will turn out. Okay, so here we are, and we're gonna fry the lumpias. I'm curious. So they, they got a little bit flat in the car, but uh, mm. should be alright. <laughs> so the oil is getting hot. Okay, I will start with the mini, because uh, that was the one that uh, I started with. <laughs> uh, the oil is not so hot yet, so this is just a test version. It's called Lumpiang Shanghai, but it's actually from the Philippines. Uh, oh! <laughs> so I don't know why the name, That's but weird. it's, uh, <laughs> okay. it's a Filipino lumpia. Okay, so let's have a look at the mini lumpia. The oil was not hot enough, so um, but now it's really hot. I think it needs a little bit more time, and then we're done. Okay, let's go. Let's try three or four at a time. Yeah, now it's much better, the temperature. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> warm rice. Okay, so we have the warm rice, the sasa one, or dipping sauce. And let's take out the lumpias. That sound in the background is my coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put them on a the paper first. Because they are really hot. I'm really curious. I did not taste it myself yet, so my sister is gonna try the Lumpiang Shanghai from the Philippines. It's still a bit hot, but I'm very curious. Yeah, careful. Mm. It sounds very crispy. Mm. How is it? It's very good. Okay. What do you say it? Masarap? Masarap. <laughs> Masarap. So I'm now having my Dutch coffee. With a Dutch apple pie. With a freshly baked apple pie. Dutch. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it looks very good. My sister baked this apple pie. So I hope you like this episode. And I'll see you next time with more Filipino food.